Okay, let's talk about similar triangles and specifically in this video, we want to find this length x. So you can see we have some, uh, some information here. We have this side or this part of the triangle is 15. This uh, uh, measure right here is 12. We have 18 here and we want to know what this part of this triangle here, this is x. And uh, in order to solve this, we need to know something about similar triangles and it's absolutely uh, critical if you are a geometry student, and I kind of figure you might be if you're watching this video, that you know a ton about similar triangles. Very, very important. And um, uh, of course, I'm going to uh, uh, quickly go through and actually tell you how to find this side. This isn't a problem that's definitely going to come up. But if you think you know how to do it, go ahead and pause the video, put your answer into the comment section. But again, uh, I'm going to walk you through. We're just going to quickly review the concept of similarity as well. And then I'm going to give you the um, kind of the theorem that you need to know for this particular type of problem. And then we'll walk through the solution. So I'm going to get to this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this uh, video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you excel in your math course. Now, uh, if you're taking any test that has math on it, for example, the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace, or Alex exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, you get the idea. All those exams and many, many others have um, math on them. So if somebody out there thinks math is pretty important, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum and program you might want to check out. And if you don't have any math notes, you can use my math notes. Matter of fact, I have dedicated geometry math notes. Uh, the links to all my math notes are in the description of this video. But uh, hopefully you don't need my math notes, okay? I've been teaching math for decades. Those students who take the best, top, awesome math notes almost always do very well. So if you want to know, uh, kind of have an indication of how well you're going to do in math, just take a look at your math notes, okay? Improve in your note-taking. You'll thank me later. All right, so... If you want to go ahead and pause the video and work on this for a minute or two, that's fine. As a matter of fact, if you know what you're doing, this takes you all of about 44 seconds uh, to actually get the solution. But uh, go ahead and throw your, your um, answer uh, into the comment section. But let's get into it. So let's first talk about uh, similar triangles. All right, so in geometry, this little symbol right here is uh, similarity or, or similar. It's indicating that two figures are similar. Now, you can have similar, all types of similar figures. We're talking specifically about similar triangles, but it's not to be confused with congruency, okay? So a lot of students get confused with congruent and uh, similar. When you're thinking about similarity, I like to just kind of think about the zoom in, zoom out effect. So just kind of think if you just grabbed on your computer, your laptop, you had some image, you just grabbed it, uh, with your mouse uh, cursor and then you zoomed it out, okay, stretched it out, it would look like this, okay? So basically similarity, a good way to think of it is that either like you zoomed down a figure or zoomed up a figure, zoomed out or zoomed in, pretty much the same figure, okay, has the same um, angles, all right? The angles didn't change, but the sides are proportional, okay, with um, these uh, two respective figures. Of course, we're talking about triangles. Now, I'm going to quickly give you three things that you need to know about when you're talking about uh, similar triangles. So I'm going to be talking about this specific problem, but you need to know uh, these three things to determine whether uh, two triangles are uh, similar. If you want to know more about this, you can check out my notes or maybe get into or jump into my full geometry course. But uh, the, that would be the uh, AA postulate, the SAS theorem, and the SSS Theorem. Okay, maybe I'll do some uh, specific videos on this, but this is how you do your, you can uh, determine whether two triangles are in fact similar. Okay, but the main idea is this: that the angles of the respective triangles, okay, are going to be congruent. All right, so the angles will be the same. Okay, but the sides will be in proportion. All right, so that's the main idea behind uh, similar figures and similar triangles. But these three. Uh, theorems right here in uh, postulate 
Um, by, the, by the way, I'm just curious, how many of you know the difference between a postulate and a theorem? Put your answer into the comment section if you could tell me the difference. That would be interesting. I'll, uh, I'll try to remember to tell you um, at the end of this video, but let's go ahead and uh, get into the prompt. Okay, so here is this particular triangle. Now, this isn't the actual prompt, but this is the setup. Now, what's going on here? Well, these little uh, arrows, okay, that's a notation that's used in geometry to indicate parallel lines. So we have this line segment here that's intersecting from this side of the triangle to this side of the triangle, and it's parallel to the base of this triangle. Okay, so that's what this is. If I didn't have this notation, okay, um, you can do that. You, we couldn't do that. You might be able to say, okay, B, D, right here is parallel to AE. That's another way you could express this situation. But in order to do this problem, okay, we need to indicate that these are parallel. Now, if you look at this, okay, this is kind of interesting. This little triangle in here, all right, is similar to the bigger triangle, all right? Again, let's make sure you see that. There's a little triangle right there. It's similar to the bigger triangle. They're just kind of all wrapped up in one kind of figure. But that's what we have um, going on. All right, so when you have this situation, this is uh, um, the theorem. Okay, Basically, these sides are going to be in proportion. So AB, this length, okay, is uh, this length divided by BC. Okay, this length right here divided by BC is the same as uh, this length, DE, all right, over CD. Okay, it's just basically a proportion. So remember, similar figures, similar triangles, you're thinking things are, are in proportion. Okay, so this is what you need to know. And now that we know that, this uh, problem becomes quite easy. All right, so here we go. So I'm just going to set up a proportion here. So 15 or uh, 12, I can do it uh, this way over this way. It doesn't make a difference. The answer will be the same. So 12 is to 15 as 18 is to this side X. Okay, so I'm going to set up a basic proportion. And now I could just use the cross product to solve this. All right, super easy. And hopefully you're up to speed on your basic algebra. So 12 times X, 12 X, 15 times 18, that's eight, 18 times 15, that's 270. Okay, so now I have 12 X is equal to 270. Divide both sides of the equation by 12. And you get X is equal to 270 uh, divided by 12, which is 22.5. And if you got that right, I must give you an awesome happy face with a good 19, good old 1985 flat top haircut. That was an awesome haircut. Unfortunately, I don't see anyone walking around with flat tops. I don't know. I thought it was a good-looking haircut. But let me go ahead and give you an A+, plus, and a 100%, and a job well done. Excellent. Okay? Nice job. All right? So this is something that you're going to need to know how to do these type of problems in geometry. But uh, if you got this answer right, um, that's, uh, you know, the, that's great. Okay? Now... If you didn't get this right, the whole idea behind this video is to learn something. So when you do encounter these type of similar triangle problems, you can uh, do this. Now, let me go ahead, because I do remember, uh, you know, trying to, uh, uh, you know, say, do not end this video without quickly uh, telling you the difference between a postulate and a theorem. So again, if you want to put in your responses, what's the difference between a postulate and a theorem? Okay, well... Uh, you know, I'm not going to give give you a whole formal formal definition, but uh, basically, postulates, okay, are kind of assumed. We these are things that we assume as a truth. Another kind of way in math uh, that we kind of think about things are called axioms. These are things that we can't prove. Just kind of assume um, they're they're true. Right now, I'm just talking informally, just so you can have you can have a, a difference. You know, kind of like a um, a working knowledge difference between postulate and theorem. Okay, I hope you should have learned this, by the way, in your geometry course. But a postulate are things that we assume to be true. Now, theorems are things that we can prove. Okay, we can prove theorems, and we can prove theorems using other postulates, properties, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So theorems can be proved. Postulates we just assume to be true. Now, if you got that right, well. Wow, okay, that's impressive. Shows me that you're probably going to get like an A plus in geometry. And uh, either you have a great teacher or maybe you've been watching a lot of my videos. Either way, very impressive if you knew all of this, okay? All right, so 
If this video helps you out in some small, tiny fashion, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Okay, so please take advantage of my content. If you like my teaching style, I have a ton of stuff in there to help you out in my channel already that can help you out. And I'll be posting new material um, as time goes on. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.